Hey, Bolo Buddies, thanks for watching. All right, you guys, in this video, we are going to talk about big money bolos, items to be on the lookout for, items you can hopefully buy low and flip for a profit. I invite you to come over to my Bolo Buddies uh, Facebook group. It looks like this. There's a link down below in my link tree. Check it out. You guys can share a bolo, an item to be on the lookout for that you picked up cheap and flipped for a big profit in that post at the top under the featured section, and I will feature it in a video just like this. So there are a bunch of videos on my channel just like this. So I hope you enjoy it. I hope you learn something because man, oh man, I definitely learned something. Wait until you see this one bolo. I probably would have walked past it and he made over a thousand dollars on this item. So stay tuned. eBay store uh, nooks, crannies, and irresistibles. If you guys share your eBay store name, your YouTube channel, your social media, places you sell, whatnot, in the uh, comment with your bolo, I will talk about it or mention it in this video, which is a great way to get your store name and other social media out there. This one, she said, I purchased at the Salvation Army for $7. I had no idea what to list it for. Very hard to find a comp. Took to a jeweler to confirm real jade stone and silver markings were authentic. Let's look at some photos here. Reached out to a Facebook group and let's see, for advice, auction was recommended. Listed high on auction first, but no interest. Slowly lowered the price to get some interest, then stopped and settled at $139. Yeah, let's see. Changed it to a buy it now also. It took a month to sell for full listing price, and I'm very happy with the $100 plus profit. Thank you, Courtney, for all you do. Yeah, if you get something and you can't find comps, always try an auction first. That way, you know, there's never any second guessing, oh, did I list it too low? So she tried it and she didn't get any interest. Sometimes I'll run an auction if there's no others listed, two, three, four, sometimes five times because you're only running a seven day auction. So the right people have to be looking at the right time. So you could always try again if it doesn't go the first time. Completely up to you, just um, something I try. This is a Lily Pulitzer quilt. A lot of people will lay them out on their bed to show the detail, stains, different things, different problem areas, and just what it looks like laid out. I think that's a great idea. Vintage Lily Pulitzer quilt, pineapple Hawaiian print. Uh, listed for 300, took a best offer of 250, got it at the Goodwill bins, paid 15 for it. Uh, store name is Cam's Thrift Finds, also thrifted trash to treasure store. Ping uh, Ladies Ultralight Graphic Clubs. Bought these Ping Ladies Golf Clubs at an animal rescue fundraiser for 50, sold for almost 300 on auction, started at 100, and they paid shipping. The clubs fit nicely into two USPS triangle boxes. Here they are, guys. Um, with that being said, you can get USPS boxes for priority mail shipment for free on USPS.com. Now, with that being said, when you check out, there is a little box that says you will only use these boxes for their intended purpose. I am seeing a lot of people taking the padded flat rate mailers and using them as bubble wrap. I'm seeing people wrap the boxes in brown paper and then ship them ground. That is a violation of the USPS rules. So here's what I would say to you. We get these free. These are a part of um, our shipping costs that we pay. They offer those to us. If the abuse continues, two things are going to happen. One, they're going to take them away. Or two, they're going to keep increasing postage to a point where we're paying more for postage and that stinks, okay? So please only use them for their intended purpose and that will help keep costs down for us in the future. Uh, if you have questions about that, you can throw it down in the comments. A lot of people don't know. Um, as far as reusing, I know a lot of people say they are reusing. I don't know, use your best judgment, guys. But uh, just be mindful, okay? The next item is this Knickerbocker uh, Animals of Distinction 14-inch bear. And she paid 33 cents and took a best offer of 100 plus shipping. This one comes from Berkshire Pickers. Again, if you guys want to share your bolo, it's at the top of the page under the featured announcements section of the group. 
This one is a rare baby Rosa plush grandma singing doll, and she sings in Spanish. How cool is she? Uh, neat Tido, Nito Tido Thrift is the eBay store. Found this plush in a free pile. My neighborhoods are always full of piles of unwanted things on the curb on trash day. Love sifting through and finding treasures. Well, that's a, definitely a treasure. Said, I undercut the price a bit for damage to the boxes. Sold in two days for $89.99. Yeah, these singing toys are definitely a bolo, even if they're not new with the packaging. This mannequin right here. Oh, my goodness. Look at him. Ah, is he creepy? Uh, picked this vintage mannequin head up at the thrift store for nine. Sold it for a best offer of 105 plus shipping. V vintage mannequin heads are great for resale or for scaring family members, she said. Now, a lot of people will use these and put to model hats or wigs or different things like that. But you can also just sell the head. I have a head that I picked up at the Goodwill bins and it has long hair and I was displaying hats on them. But I may end up uh, selling that guy. This one comes from Nina's Jewels. Paid 20 at a garage sale. Sold for 75 plus shipping. Was in excellent condition, but smelled very strongly of cigarettes. Not exaggerating. We let it air out for over a year and it still smelled. We finally decided to list with a clear disclosure regarding the smell and discounted significantly. Got an immediate offer, which we accepted. I messaged the buyer twice to confirm that they saw the note regarding the smell and they gave the thumbs up. Any fly fishing items have always sold fast for us, even the stinky ones. Nina's Jewels on YouTube and eBay. Definitely check them out. They have an awesome YouTube channel and they find big money bolos. Here's another one from Nina's Jewels. This was mine from when I was a kid. Came from our family computer, so free to me since my parents paid for it. Sold for full asking price of $124.99. Be on the lookout for old computer software, especially Apple. Um, how funny is it that she still had this from when she was a kid? <laughs> Love it. Oh boy. Makes you want to save everything, right? She said, this was gifted to me by a family member to sell. So it was free to me. This is also Nina's jewels. Can you believe it was new and sealed? I was so excited to open the box to see inside. Sold for a best offer of $120. Microsoft Office Home and Student 2010. This is a vintage 1950s toy. It's a caterpillar rattle. And what I want to draw your attention to is how quickly this sold. Would you have um, sold it, started it at a higher price? I probably would have, but she said she did comps and it was comping at about 20, but it sold in 10 minutes. She said, I'm not sure where I picked this up. Most likely from the Goodwill outlet. I was working through my money pile and found him. I thought quick, easy list. I did a quick comp and sold, uh, saw 20 and listed for 19. I'm not sure if I made a mistake comping it. However, it sold in 10 minutes. Not big money, but it was fast money. The Lost Closet 12 on eBay and once again, gems on Poshmark. Thanks again for letting me share. So for this one, I probably would have tried an auction if there were none listed because comps are typically solds. Um, I'm not sure if hers was a sold or an active listing. This is a very nostalgic piece, something that is going to take the right buyer. So I would say list it high and be patient. But if you're looking for a quick sale, you can sell it lower. Completely up to you. What do you guys recommend on hard to find items like this? If it's from the 50s, someone's probably looking for it. It might not be that they're looking for it right now, but the person will come along that had this as a kid or their kid had it or so on and so forth. And they want it. So the next one is going to knock your socks off. Original 1970s Slurpee Marvel Superhero 7-Eleven Cup Checklist. This is the entire checklist, but they're selling each sheet individually. Each sheet individually, guys. Paid five for an entire pad at a garage sale. Sold for a total of $1,500. 10 sold for an average of 50 each. Sold the remaining 76 for $1,000. How crazy is that? Somebody said, how did you know these would even sell? He said, I knew they were, I knew what they were. I collect the cups and I also comped them. So the cup collectors out there are looking for this sheet as part of their collection. Is that fabulous? What a great bolo. The next item is this 1990s vintage Universal Studios men's letterman jacket. Paid 20 and sold for 125 and he got this at a garage sale. Mega Bolo Finder right here. Here's another one from him. Antique door lock competition. I think it says entry. Paid five for this set. 
Oops, I'm sorry. Paid 20 at a garage sale and sold it for $600. Look at that, guys. $600. I don't I don't know if I would have picked that up because I'm still not even sure what it is. <laughs> but wow, 20 into 600. New early 1980s Leatherman Mini Tool. It's in the original box. It's a multiplier tool. Paid a dollar at a garage sale. Took a best offer of $200. Things that we pass by all the time. This guy is selling for big money. He is a bolo finder. I would definitely recommend going and checking out his store. And maybe you'll find something you want to buy. The next item is this vintage composition baby doll. Do you think she's creepy or cute? Let me know down in the comments. eBay store is Weberish thrifting paid two dollars at the goodwill bin sold in two hours for 45 with free shipping did she underprice it i don't know what do you guys think thinking i may have priced too low but happy with a quick sale this is another one where if you can't find a comp maybe try an auction first it is getting close to halloween at the time i'm doing this video so possibly somebody's using this as a prop or maybe just a collector this is a Street Sharks hand puppet from 1994. Always look up Street Sharks. They also make toys that are not hand puppets. Some of them are big money bolos. Bought this at a thrift store for a dollar. Sold it for $124.95. I saw it and did a Google Lens search and saw that others sold anywhere from 50 to 250. I'm sorry, 50 to 200. There are four shark puppets in the series. I saw that someone had sold a set of four for $650. Yeah. Street Sharks, definitely a bolo. I love this one because the tag says $295. It is a set. It is Christian Dior Jewels of India, and it's a necklace and earring set. Paid $35 for this necklace and earring set, five pair of earrings and a bracelet at a yard sale. I want to go to that yard sale. So around $4 cost of goods. I had this set priced at $8. 1800 and it's sold within a couple of days for an offer of $1,200. So four bucks into 1200. It had the original box, earrings, card, and price tag. This was my biggest sale yet. That is fabulous. The next is this Hewlett Packard scientific calendar, calendar, <laughs> calculator. Always look them up, guys. That's one thing I'm guilty of. I'm telling you, always look up the calculators. I see calculators all the time. I don't look up, but I do look up some and I kind of know what to look for. The graphing calculators do well. This sold for $160, paid $2.99 for it at the Goodwill. The last one here uh, for this video, and I do have lots more videos like this, some that I've already done, more to come. Uh, thank you everyone for sharing your bolos. I do appreciate it greatly. Uh, Facebook group under the announcement section, go to my link tree. There is a link to get into that Facebook group. Just request to join and share your bolo. Be sure to shout out your social media. For example, she paid $4 for this Disney cross stitch kit from an online auction sold in one month for full asking price of 40 plus shipping. She is BLMS underscore resale on Poshmark, Bercari, eBay, and knickknacks. So shout out where you sell. And I will put it in the video as I read through what you wrote. So thank you guys so much for sharing. I appreciate it greatly. Um, awesome bolos. Some of them I would have walked past. Uh, wearing my hat from Seems So Vintage. She's having an all handmade show on whatnot. You guys, you got to come. I, I tell you about some of the other cool handmade things, but I've been told I'm not allowed to tell, but I can tell you she's going to have a lot of hats. It seems so vintage on whatnot. I do have a referral link down below. You can get $15 to shop with that. Um, I am on whatnot. I'm doing a lot of jewelry right now, but as Christmas approaches and we get closer into the buying season for that, I'm going to be doing more toys and vintage and fun stuff. So make sure you're following me, Bolo Buddies over there. Make sure you bookmark Seems So Vintage's show for her handmade items and seller's link for uh, whatnot. I have that down below. They are now offering an incentive. If you use that, if you click on it, it'll tell you exactly what you get if you use my refer referral seller's link down there. Uh, let's see. What else do I need to tell you guys? I don't know. I've got all my referral and affiliates down below. Definitely check those out. Those are things that I use for my business. I'm getting ready to record another video right now from this series. So many great bolos. Thank you guys so much for sharing. I do appreciate it. 
And um, I might be doing a whatnot show right now that starts at 918 tonight. So check it out. Links down below. See you soon. And thanks for watching.